Okay, you're uh, working off your laptop, and you don't you want to see how much battery power. You hover over here, and it says an hour and 33 minutes, and you look at it and say, what the heck, this is a great laptop. I should have that. So let me turn on battery uh, saver and see what happens. And it doesn't, doesn't look like much happens. So in order to check it, let's go over here to battery saver. Right-click on it, and then go to, go to settings. And you immediately jump in the control panel to the battery saver. And once you're here, there's a couple of things to check for. Now, you... If you go down here at the bottom and you say settings, you'll see that down here it has the always allowed. No matter if battery saver is on or not, no matter what kind of power conditions, these apps run. There should be nothing here. But in case one got installed, like Microsoft Photos, I don't care about that. So I'm going to remove that. And I'm going to let the mail and calendar, eh, people I don't care about either. Okay, so I will mail and calendar always allow that to come in. Now the next setting I want to talk about is a little hidden. It's up here, and if you look under here, battery use, and it shows you once you click on that, what apps are using how much power. And you can look down here and find some that uh, may surprise you, as a matter of fact. And there's nothing you can really do here. You can click on them and get details about uh, how much it's using and all that. But really, it doesn't do anything. So if you go back here, and if you look here under the settings, okay, we'll go back. Oh, we'll go back here to. Uh, battery use, and you'll notice that right here, change background app settings. If you click on here, you might be surprised. You find a whole bunch of stuff that's turned on when they got installed. And we're going to go in here and just basically turn them off. For example, I don't use this particular weather app that's installed. Okay, alarms, yeah. Calendar, yeah. Food and drink, no. Uh, get office, no. Uh, I'm not a music guy, so groove music, no. So go in here and just go down your list and whichever ones you think you don't want to get notifications on because they have to be running in the background. And what that means is they're out there monitoring the internet and when the message comes in that's in relationship to that application, it sends it on to you. Well, I don't care about that. Um, again, uh, phone, companion, phone, uh, Skype video, sure. Uh, I'm not a Skype guy. I'm going to turn it off. But if you're a Skype person, leave it on. Store, I don't want notifications from the store. I don't need it running in the background. Uh, so there's a lot of this stuff here I can just plain turn off. So let's take a look now that we've done all that. So let's go over to the battery indicator again and click on it. And it says now one hour and 23 minutes, okay? Uh, if we go back to it uh, again, okay, there you go. One hour and 43 minutes. They had 10 minutes. That may not seem like a lot, but I've been running recording software during this time. So it made a difference because it was draining all this time doing recording, and yet it added 10 minutes. And here's some screens to show you uh, exactly what happened uh, with different settings. So depending upon how much software you have running in the background, you can save anywhere from 10 to 25 minutes uh, in difference. Because here it is at 2 hours and 12, and here it is at 2 hours and 25, so 13 minutes. And you saw it went from uh, 80 to 79. This was about two or three minutes apart, maybe five minutes apart. And I got more time uh, on my battery life. So adjust your uh, power settings in the, in the battery saver section uh, to allow to turn off all those unnecessary apps that are draining your battery and reducing your effectiveness. Hey, and don't forget to subscribe to Old Guy Geek. Come on back for Windows 8 and Windows 10 and Windows Phone 8 and Windows 10 and general how-to videos. All here to help you make the most out of your system.